Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video from Hike and Plays. Today we are on Voyage of the Four Seas and we're going to be talking about legendary equipment. So, we have this beautiful box in our inventory and what we can do is we can use that to have a look at the three different legendary sets this game has to offer. So the first set we're going to be looking at is the Black Essence set. If we go down, if you get a two-piece set, you're going to have in battle a 10% uh, 10 attack increase and a 10% crit increase. And on a four-piece set, when landing a crit, there's a 10% chance to increase your crit damage by 100%. This lasts for three seconds. This is actually massive, right? So that, that explains the Black Essence set. If we now move on to the Murakumo set, this is more aimed at tanks. So when in battle, 10% of your HP gained is then reflected. And when receiving damage, has a 10% chance to heal for 2%. Again, really what you want on a tank right and the last set so the third legendary set is the rainfall set uh so when in battle heal amount so 10 percent and recover amount by 10 percent and when he and when you get the four piece version you're going to do when healing 10 percent chance to double the amount of healing right when are these sets good and who are these sets good on so if we head over to my units i have the meta team i know so if you're on a meta team, or you're running a similar team to me, you'd be able to pull off this anyway. Right, first guy, Garp. You want to run just four times Black Essence. I run four pieces of Black Essence on Garp. It makes the most sense. He gets the attack increase, he gets the crit increase, and he does the crit damage. You really don't run any other set. If you have any big damage dealer, you run the four piece set. Garp being one of them, probably Zoro another. Tank, again, it, it's as easy as it gets. It, it You run the full tank set. You run the full Mur Murko set. That's four pieces. So the boots, the armor, uh, the mask. Do feel free to pause the video if you want to have a look at the stats. I am going over it very quickly, but there you are. So it gets interesting with players like Ivankov. So I don't have a literary set on him. But what I would be running on Ivankov would be... I'd be going back and running two pieces of the Black Essence... So, say, one and two. And then I'd be running two pieces of... Oh, I've double-clicked there. Of the armor from the tank set. Because what you really want for him would be the extra 10% HP, so you can reflect and do damage. You've got the extra HP for the stain. But you also want him to have the attack and crit. But you don't want him to have the crit damage. There's no need. He's not going to be doing too much damage. So making him more stable is just going to be better. So you run two-piece sets... So two two-piece sets on him. The same applies to, uh, to Blackbeard. Again, you can run uh, two Black Essence and two Murko. Because again, you want him to do damage. You want him to be tanky. Makes sense. In fact, I, I, what I said about Ivankov, I probably wouldn't run the Black Essence. I'd probably run the healing set. So I'd run two Rainfall, two Tank. So I ignore what I said earlier. Run two Rainfall, two Tank. And Marco, I mean, he's the best healer in the game at the moment. So it has to be the full healer set. I would run full healer on Marco. I think if you have a support that's like acting like Marco, healing this much, you have to run the full healer set. I think for a lot of the units, you want to run hybrid. So your supports, you want to run tank and healer. And for your damage dealers, like someone like Whitebeard, who's going to be right in their face, you want to run some damage and you want to run some tank. I hope this video helps. Like, I hope if anyone has any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And um, we'll, you know, we'll look into more gear later. In saying that, peace.